Invasive plants. They're pesky, persistent, and out of place. In fact, the only place they belong in Zion is under the nozzle of a herbicide sprayer. Meet the de-vegetation half of the park's vegetation crew. With months of planning and weeks of spraying, they weed out invasive species. Today, we're gonna kill plants. Part of the National Park Service's mission is to conserve native environments. Native plants evolved together, and in their natural habitats, plants, pollinators, predators, and other species balance each other to keep the ecosystem healthy. But when invasive plants grow, they can upset that balance. And so the main thing with like invasive plants, they, they outcompete the native plants, right? They don't have those uh, natural predators that they've evolved with um, here. And so they push out all the native plant species. Um, and so we're here to kind of simulate those natural predators and stuff and beat them back down to give the native plants a fighting chance. Invasive plant specialist Ranger Darren surveyed this area in the green hills of Kolok Canyons to see if there were any invasive plants growing. What he found was this, an entire meadow of invasive white top, a state-listed noxious weed. It looked like it had never been treated before, um, so it's created a uh, monoculture of invasive plants, uh, particularly white top. A monoculture is when one species, like white top, dominates an area, in this case, out-competing native plants in the process. In order to treat invasive plants in the remote backcountry of the park, Zion vegetation experts prepare to camp or backpack for multiple days. And Darren, make sure everyone brings the right supplies. Does everybody have a sleeping bag? Does everybody have a sleeping pad? Do you have a tent with a rain fly? That works. Camping up in the juniper pine country near the sandstone cliffs of Kolob cuts down on travel time so rangers can get straight to work. At the start of their day, rangers pack backpack sprayers with necessary supplies to mix herbicides and map data. Then they hike all the way to the location where they will work. So we just hiked about a mile and a half to two miles, kind of schwacking through the oak scrub. Once they arrive, they mix herbicide, collect geographic and weather data, and finally start the spraying. Even though like people don't necessarily visit these areas, it's really important to like still protect them and manage them uh, to kind of retain that biodiversity. Invasive plants can increase their range in the park and impair other natural ecosystems along their way. In these remote areas, invasive plants often come from livestock, more specifically, their poop. They also come from the millions of visitors from around the world who come to Zion, hitchhiking on shoes and cars. We encourage people to kind of wash their boots, uh, wash their vehicles in between uh, parks even, because um, they could be inadvertently introducing a new plant to a, a pristine area. With the help of visitors and the work of vegetation crews, native ecosystems in Zion can thrive. Protecting uh, biodiversity in general is like one of the main core, like one of the core reasons why the NPS is here. Um, we need to protect these areas um, just for future generations.